Hey guys, I just wanted to start this vlog off with a little information about how we got to the islands and what you might need to do before you go. So when we were in Athens, we learned that we could do a self-test from a testing kit bought in a pharmacy. And so we bought one, we did the self-test, and then we filled out a form. So you can either do that or get uh, tests done at any of the testing centers in Athens. On the ferries, if you're island hopping, you need a self-declaration form. They didn't check ours on the boat, but the Coast Guard has been doing random checks, so make sure that you have that form just to be safe. So that's pretty much all the information that you need to know. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> We are here in beautiful Milos, Greece, and we're going to be taking you on a complete tour of the island and showing you a few unique spots. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this vlog. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and like this video so you can continue with me on my other adventures. Let's go check out our ride for the day, and welcome to Bridging the Map. Here's our baby. Ain't she a beaut? You can rent an ATV for roughly 40 euro per day here, and we're staying in the city of Polonia, which is right at the top of Milo. So if you're interested in coming up here, they have great ATV deals for you, and we'll link the company down below in the description. So if you're wondering what you're going to see on today's video, we're going to be visiting the town of Plaka first. And also, we're going to take a crazy, insane hike because we want to see Kleftiko Beach. But first, we're going to check out the small town of Mandrakia. It's a tiny little fishing village right next to Plaka, and it is picture perfect. So let's go walk over and check out Mandrakia. So that was Mandrakia. I had to change my outfit because it is so hot outside. So we're going to be heading to Plaka now. It's one of the most colorful villages to visit on the island. It's also the capital, I believe, of Milos. So we're going to go check that out now and have some lunch because I'm so starving. I didn't eat breakfast. So we're here in Plaka and it is very populated. We've been on the other side of the island for three days now and I had no idea that there were this many buildings. It's going to be really good. We're going to eat at an amazing place for lunch that was recommended to me by a friend who's been here before. So let's go check out the lunch spot. It's called Thatsis. Alright, so we're here at Thatsis and we're going to have the potato salad first and the tzatziki. Obviously, this is fresh and delicious food. So this potato salad has some vinegar, some onions, peppers, capers, and you can smell the, the vinegar on it too. It looks amazing. So let's try a little bit. See that bite? Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Mm. It's very fresh. I forgot to mention there's also Greek yogurt here. So delicious. It's tangy with the potatoes. It's like a deconstructed American potato salad, basically. So, so guys, I got moussaka. This is actually my first attempt at eating moussaka, so I'm extremely excited. Basically, it is eggplant and minced beef, and then there's this, I think it's potato, but I'll correct it if it's wrong down below. <laughs> but I'm gonna try a little bit. I'm a massive fan of eggplant, so I'm so excited for this. It smells so good too. Mm. Wow. Kind of 
it's a Christmas. I think there's nutmeg in it. So guys, we're gonna eat our meal and enjoy the rest of our afternoon here in Plaka, and then we'll be heading off to our hike, and it's gonna be an interesting adventure for sure. All right, so we ran into a little problem at the restaurant. The machine wasn't working for the credit card, so the time that we wanted to spend enjoying Plaka got cut short because we have to get started with our hike. Let me explain to you guys a little bit about what we're doing today. So we're going to Kleftiko, which is a beautiful, one of the most beautiful parts of Greece. Normally people go there by boat. It's a lot easier to access the beach, but we're not able to do that because of extenuating circumstances. Um, so we're gonna take the hike. Now the hike is a whole ordeal. You have to have an ATV to go there, and it's like a 45 minute hike after you park your ATV. And there are lots of vipers and dangers, and mom, I love you, I'm so sorry. You're probably like, why is my son doing this? So we're gonna head on the ATV now to go on the path, and we're gonna be vlogging the whole process for you in case you decide to be as crazy as we are and take the hike. Let's go. Okay, we're here at Kleftiko. It took about 50 minutes from Plaka. So we're hiking up. In 10 minutes, we'll be able to see Kleftiko, but the whole hike takes 45 minutes. And the way there, it's a little bit of uphill, then a lot of downhill. So on the way back up, it's gonna be a lot of uphill. But so excited to see the view and excited to get some exercise in as well. So let's go ahead and start this hike and hope that no snakes bite us. Is that a snake? Nope, just kidding. Ah! Okay, so we've been hiking for about, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes. And we see where we have to end up, which is all the way down there. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> I have not worked out in so long. This is going to be very interesting to see if we make it. I don't even know if this is the right way. Okay, well, I'll trust you. We're just gonna go walk along this path and hope not to die alone. So, I'll catch you guys up later with what, how we're doing. I could see it just over yonder. And it looks so beautiful. 100% worth it. We're gonna keep hiking. It literally feels like straight out of Swiss Family Robinson or Robinson Crusoe. It's so beautiful and remote here. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. We're gonna get there in maybe five minutes. Yay! There it is, Cleftico. Look how cool it is. Guys, we're here, Kleptico. We made it. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we made it. I'm glad I'm alive. It is so beautiful here. Let me show you guys as easy as I can. I don't have my gimbal. So we just took out the drone. Also nerve wracking because we've never flown the drone before and this is literally the probably the worst spot to try and fly a drone. But the footage is gonna be so amazing. So guys, here we go. This is Kleptico. I hope you enjoyed that drone footage. We really are so glad that the drone made it back alive. So now we're gonna hike back to our ATV and I'm gonna miss this place. It's so incredible. The caves, the water, Greece is just never ending in beauty and I'm so excited to be able to spend three weeks in the island. So I'm sure we're gonna be seeing a lot more of the different types of beauty on each island. So now we're gonna hike back 
We'll see you guys at the top. Bye bye. Guys, we made it. We also got chased by wild goats. Not recommended for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're so glad to be done with the hike. We're gonna go back and we're gonna take showers and rest and just take it easy for the rest of the night. But tomorrow morning we have a special treat for you guys. So we will see you guys tomorrow. And we're gonna visit a spot that's known for looking lunar on Milos. So I'm really excited to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We slept really nice, and now we are headed to Sarah Canyon Cove Beach, which is an extremely beautiful area of Milos. It is an area that has been described as looking like the moon, so I'm really excited to go and experience this. It's one of the last things that we'll be doing today here in Milos, and then we'll be heading off to another island, and I'll let you guys know what that island is at the end of this vlog. So let's head on the ATV and go to Serkiniko Beach. Guys, we're here at Serkiniko. I'm so excited. We saw a little bit going in and it looks absolutely incredible. So it's just down there on the hill. And I want to get there as soon as I can. <laughs> There's nobody here. Maybe like a few cars. So. We lucked out big time. Let's go. Beach. It was an amazing adventure out here. And thank you for choosing to watch this vlog. If you want to follow me on the rest of my adventures throughout the Greek islands, please hit the subscribe button again. And please leave a comment down below if you have any questions about going to the Greek islands. So we're going to head to the beautiful island of Paros next. We're going to be taking a ferry at 2 p.m. today and we'll be there this evening. So get ready for some more adventures in the Greek islands. Thank you for joining me today and as always, until the next vlog, keep bridging the map.